Yo, New York Yankee Saints, yet again, it is Felix from LYNews.com. Like always, all like a You are now tuned into the Realist Yankees YouTube channel or even platform on the web, LY News with LY News Felix. Brian Cashman, you bastard! You should have signed the Manny Machado when you had the chance to. Is Miguel Andor going to cost us 40 runs again, Cashman? This is your fault and Hal Steinberger's fault for not getting Manny Machado. Look, we're losing games because of defense now. A Platinum Glove Award winner was out there and you completely ignored him. I'm canceling my season tickets. Disclaimer, this person does not have season tickets. Brian Gashman, you bastard! You hear that? Because that's what the Yankees front office is going to hear all season long. Because the Yankees are making all the moves that they're not supposed to make. Look at Jacoby Ellsbury. What a disaster. That's going to go down as one of the worst signings in sports history. Not baseball, sports history. Why? Because the New York Yankees are the most recognized or one of the most recognized sports franchises in the world. The way the Yankees are going, the Los Angeles Lakers are going to beat them for, let's say, a superior franchise. Because the Lakers, even though they haven't been winning in recent years, they're still out there in the media trying to get the best players possible. Look, we all know the New York Yankees are America's team. Just as the Cowboys are America's team when it comes to the NFL. Have you ever wondered why the Yankees and the Cowboys have a whole bunch of fans all over the country and the world? Because these two organizations... Let's say a high percentage of Yankees fans outside of New York City, the tri-state area, are Yankees fans because the Yankees had a history of, let's say, winning World Series championships and getting the best players possible for their team, making waves, dominating media, being in the spotlight 24-7, the evil empire. These are the SJW New York Yankees that we are seeing. We are seeing a light version of the New York Yankees. This coming season, I am not ever going to defend the New York Yankees organization when, let's say, another organization steps all over them. News organizations stepping all over them. Writers stepping all over them. MLB stepping all over them because they don't have respect for the New York Yankees because it reflects on who is currently running the New York Yankees. And I don't want to hear about that, oh, it's all about class nonsense, because it's not. It's all about being soft. You got two generational talents out there, and Brian Cashman is about to get beat by a C-rate GM by the name of Rick Hahn, who, by the way, already beat Cashman by trading away Chris Sale to the Red Sox. He gave ammunition to your enemy already, and he's about to get or supposedly get Manny Machado. So this is where the Yankees are at now, getting beat by c rank GMs, a guy who looks like he could be in a sitcom, a father figure in a TV show. And again, I am going to state this again. You all see how the Jacoby Ellsbury signing is turning out. The Yankees are not out of the hot water yet. They still have John Carlos Stanton, who still needs to prove himself. I'm not trying to bash John Carlos Stanton, but if you get a guy just to DH and paying him all that money, it makes absolutely zero sense. Zero. Getting beat by a GM that stepped in in 2013 and has put up losing records since then, potentially twice, that's where the Yankees are at. Potentially Losing out to the Chicago White Sox. Then you have Heyman putting out fake news saying that the Yankees offered Manny Machado in his camp $220 million when they had that dinner. Uh, no, they didn't. They didn't offer him nothing. Maybe they talked numbers here and there, but it wasn't official. The Yankees haven't offered Manny Machado nothing. They are hoping, by the way, that Lozano comes back. And let's say they settle for less years to play for the New York Yankees. The only way I see it's possible, and it could happen, but it's going to have to come down to the Yankees front office. For all the parents, by the way, 
Don't give me that crap about, oh, the Yankees are fine. They won 100 games last season. Oh, were you paying attention? The league was weak. Every team in Major League Baseball, if it wasn't the Red Sox, the Yankees, Houston Astros, even the A's and the Rays, it was a weak league. Oh, but wait, Felix, you make absolutely zero sense. Doesn't the same apply to this season? Uh, yeah, because other teams that are good, they're going to inflate their records as well. So it makes no difference. We can see another team run away with a division. So again, the Yankees in the front office, they're going to hear the voices of the Yankees fans all season long when any mistake happens, when anything goes wrong. Because the Yankees completely ignored, let's say, more than 50% of their fan base. They got a guarantee that they win the World Series now. Anything shorter than that, a complete disaster. The whole fan base, in my honest opinion, they're going to turn against the Yankees front office. And that's some facts. So, like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next time. Before it hits the front